Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we are going to talk about the top five reasons why most Americans decide to move them and their whole family to New Zealand. If you don't know, I do a lot of consulting, helping people move to New Zealand, and I've talked to hundreds of people, and these are the top five reasons. So here we go. Now I'm going to tell you these reasons from number five down to the number one reason why people in America want to move to New Zealand. Now, like I said earlier, hundreds of people that I've talked to, and let me tell you, it's very consistent messages that I'm hearing. And I just think it would be interesting. I think that you would be interested to know what are the reasons, what causes people to think about moving, what's going on in their mind. It's a very big deal. It's hard to do. And they're taking the leap. And these are the reasons why. The number five reason. Okay, so the lowest number. There are a lot of reasons why people would come to New Zealand, but I'm only talking about the top five today. And the number five is they feel that New Zealand is in line with their values. They feel that what they've read about it, watching the TV, watching the news, reading about it, um, watching my channel maybe, <laughs> and they're getting a sense that I feel like my values are more in line with New Zealand's values compared to America. And that is a very common topic that I hear. So number five is their values are more in line with what's important to them, right? Not only what they like to do, but more importantly, like what they value, what they think is important, you know, what they wanna pass down to their children. That's a big reason. Number four. Number four reason, hands down, is politics and really in a distrust for the government. And just the divide between the two parties is just getting bigger and stronger. Uh, and decisions are made at the government level that people are not happy about. People that are in office that people are not happy about. These are, re these are big reasons. I hear this all of the time. And so when you don't trust your government, it's hard. And then you, a lot of people are living in fear and they're making decisions out of fear, which is never a good idea. And so, yeah, politics is a big one. So if you see an American in New Zealand, they probably don't wanna talk about politics. Number three, the third reason why many Americans are looking to move to New Zealand are because of the healthcare. Now, a lot of Americans are like, oh, socialized healthcare, you know, it's horrible. You have horrible waiting times and whatever. There's no perfect system. But let me tell you, the one in New Zealand is significantly better than dealing with the one in the US. Now, I can tell you all the pros and cons of both and that'll be a different video. <laughs> but overall, just knowing that you can get healthcare, that it's, a, it's they, they just value here in New Zealand that everybody deserves healthcare and that it shouldn't bankrupt you. So that's a concept. It's not run by big insurance companies, big business, big pharmaceuticals. Everything is really reasonable or free. In New Zealand, they also have what's called the ACC, which is um, a program of which if any accident happens when you're here, whether you are a resident or just a visitor, whether it was your fault or not, you're covered by ACC and they'll take care of you um, in whatever you need in terms of medical and for however long it takes. It's amazing. And so we can talk about that on another video, but just the healthcare in general. I mean, this is what, you know, as people are aging and they're thinking about access to healthcare, it's starting to become a big deal. And, you know, I think that it's really important. And I'm, I'm seeing this in a lot of Americans that they start to think a little more outside of the box. Like they, all they do is talk about, they're scared of like what a socialized healthcare would look like and feel like and and that they're worried that they're not going to have access but the thing is is that they're just not even willing to consider that there's another way of doing it there is now new zealand isn't a big country but there are very large countries that have healthcare systems significantly better than in the u.s so it's time to start having conversations and start fixing that problem i just want to thank better help for sponsoring this video. I don't know about you, but COVID can take a toll. It's taken a toll on my family and my children. I've just recently traveled back to the US and just kind of seeing people and just all of the emotions. Uh, there's lots of anxiety and stresses. And so I've started to use one of the therapists in the 20,000 therapists 
network at BetterHelp. And so I just kind of wanted to share that with you today. Um, they have licensed therapists. It's private. What I really like about it is that you can, you know, you can go on a Zoom call or a visual, you can call them on the phone, or you can just text them. And what's really great is you can kind of communicate with them as much as you want and whenever you want. So if you have a question or you're like, oh, I'm stressed about this, and you can just text them and very responsive. And if you don't like your therapist, there's more you can pick from and there's no extra charge. It's amazing. Uh, so I highly recommend it. If you are feeling uh, a little bit overwhelmed, life is changing very quickly. The world is changing very quickly. And so BetterHelp is there to help you. So join the 2 million people who are starting to work on their mental health and sign up for BetterHelp today with 10% off. If you click on the link in my description and you will get 10% off uh, when you sign up. So I highly recommend doing that today. It's very easy. You fill out um, a questionnaire and in 48 hours, they give you some options of people that would work for you. And then you just schedule at your convenience and as often as you would like. It's really great. Go check it out. Link is in the description. Number two, the second reason that most people are considering moving to New Zealand is for work-life balance. There is so much conversation that I have with people about it. Like, they're just like, really? Like, you can take time off? Like, it's not just take time off. Like, whether you are full-time, part-time, temporary employee, you get four weeks of paid holiday. And it's just a different value system. They just don't value overworking. They don't think that you can be a good worker here in New Zealand if you don't take time off. It's just a completely different mentality. And so it's very appealing to Americans who spend their whole life, their whole purpose, their whole, it's not everybody, but it's a lot of people. It's very much valued in the American culture to work very hard. The American work ethic is very good, but it's, it's overdone. It's gone to the way other extreme. So I wouldn't say that New Zealand is on the far other extreme, but it's definitely closer <laughs> to that side than um, <clears throat> how it is in America. So a lot of people talk about that. They just, you know, <clears throat> as you get older, you start to feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, I need time to do what it is that I want to do. And I don't need to be working all the time. And my kids are getting older and I'm missing out on so many things because of why. Why am I doing that? So I think that we're just seeing after COVID, I think the, the whole world, not just the US and New Zealand or whatever, just kind of a little bit of an uproar. Everybody's rethinking what it is that they value, what's important to them. Are they gonna just step back into the status quo that was before COVID or are they gonna start rethinking some things? So I think that that's what we're seeing and they're looking for more work-life balance. So if you're an employer in the US, take that in consideration if you're looking for some really good employees and having a hard time finding them. You're going to need to start stepping up with some work-life balance. All right, number one, the absolute number one reason why people are considering moving to New Zealand is because of the U.S. gun laws. They have a lot of fear for their children. They don't want to send their kids to school. They don't want their kids living in fear. And I just hear this pretty much on every single call of anybody that has kids. And some of these kids were just born, you know, they're not even in school yet. And the parents are like, I'm not having this. I'm not raising my kids here. I'm not um, putting my kid in danger. I mean, because it can be at any school at any time. And so they're very frustrated. So they will tell me that their number one reason is uh, because of safety issues. So. Um, a lot of them quote gun laws in particular, but some it's just safety issues, you know, just safety for their children, their children be able to grow up in a safe environment, not having to go through active shooter training <laughs> uh, as part of their lifestyle. So that's the number one reason why Americans are seeking to move to New Zealand now in 2022. I would love to know your thoughts on this topic. And let me know if you're an American thinking about moving, what are the reasons that you are thinking about moving? And uh, as you heard, I have a consulting service. I have a whole business set up for help people move here. So definitely reach out if you are moving here. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys next week.